essa fantasia foi um sentimento. So one thing I've wanted in the hallway for a while is some shoe storage, and I've worked with Tilco in the past. This ain't sponsored. I purchased this with my own money, and I thought, hey, why not get something that I can customize myself and then also actually go for something that's quite a pop of color. Now in total, they had a sale, so this cost me, I think it was 300 pounds and hopefully it'll be worth it. That's a back to square one kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. The fit, then obviously next, and the colours kind of don't worry about because there's a colour book to kind of choose from. Yeah. Is that just like an always keep that thing to like? Like, oh. it looks like it's, like I'm not going to have a hoodie at the next <laughs> thing. That's an issue for me. Which one we're looking at here from? Can you just show the tag? There's ever so slight fitting differences. So, it's pretty much in the eye, isn't it? If it's looser here, I feel it needs to be looser here. It's almost like it feels quite, and obviously this is my arms as well, but on me, it feels quite tight through here, but then why are we loose here? Bigger in the body. Do you know what I mean? When I had that one on, it felt more balanced.
So if you remember the video where I moved all of this around, one of you commented about actually changing out these white hangers for some brand ones just to make it look a little bit, I can't remember what it said, I think it was just to say a little bit better. And I kind of actually agree because this bedroom lacks kind of like wood and stuff at the moment. It's all white and I don't overly like it. So luckily enough, uh, my friend actually from his own studio was getting rid of, well, kind of just had a bunch of spare brown ones. So that is what I've got. And I think I found the exact ones, if not close enough to these ones on Amazon. So I will link them below. So I'm gonna change these out now and hopefully it does look a lot better. That's how it's looking so far. Only thing that I didn't really think about is that these are a lot wider than the white ones that I had. So I won't be able to fit as many trousers on here, which means one, I think I'm gonna take my jeans off and store them in here. And then two, I think it's time to get rid of a few of these trousers as well. So there might be some new stuff up on Depop. So that's what it looks like now. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any other suggestions for the bedroom to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so genuine question, does anybody else absolutely hate changing their bed sheets and putting new ones on? I don't actually have an issue with changing them or washing them, that's completely fine. But putting new ones on honestly frustrates the hell out of me. Like, you gotta put on one side of the fitted sheet, other side comes off, you're flapping these sheets around, getting all like hot and bothered and Everybody says that they've got like the perfect trick on how you do it and how it's easy and I try every time and I honestly I just I end up just getting tangled up. My way of doing it is literally I start with this sheet inside out, I grab it and then just flap about. Like that's that's my way. Now I've always been I can feel that I'm out of breath. I've always been this way. Like literally when I was a kid, my mum from a young age would make me change my own bed sheets, put new ones on, and I would hate doing it so much that I would grab out the sleeping bag and I would sleep in a sleeping bag like that night, or at least as long as I could until I'd get kind of like told off. However, I do love clean bed sheets. I think there's nothing better than that. And I always have an amazing night's sleep after cleaning my bed sheets, so definitely do that. I never thought I'd actually get to a point where I'm talking about bed sheets on my channel, but here we are. 
Uh, also, if anybody has pillow recommendations for like supporting your neck, that would be amazing. Thank you. That actually killed my soul a little bit, jumping on here after I made it. So recently I've been feeling that my life is kind of on pause and I wanted to kind of like sit down and try express how I'm feeling because I can imagine there's at least one of you who is feeling this way as well and I don't know I think it's just kind of like good to talk about and also to know that like you're not alone in that feeling. So I'm going to try to keep this kind of like short and sweet because otherwise I know I'll just ramble on in this topic. So as most of you are aware, uh, my girlfriend lives in America and we're in a long distance relationship and we've been doing this for over a year now. And the goal that we are working on is for me to be able to move to New York. Now, as much as we're working on that, that's not gonna happen for a while, for at least, I don't know, it could be like another year or so. And that brings me to my point of feeling like my life is on pause. Now when I say my life, I'm not talking about my career or things like that. I'm kind of talking about everything else but my job. To give you an idea, I'm at a point where I want to start building towards my future. I want to start looking at, you know, purchasing a home. I want to start building that home. Uh, you know, whether it's investing in furniture, forever pieces for your home building that just like place. But obviously I can't right now because I don't want to do that in London. As much as I love London and it's done great things for me, my heart just isn't here anymore. So I can't, you know, start building towards the home. That's okay. Another kind of example is I've grown up my whole entire life with dogs, German Shepherds in particular. I've only ever had German Shepherds from literally day one until I left New Zealand and I love dogs and I've known my whole time being in London that you know I wanted to get a dog I wanted to get a dog but I kind of knew like London was never going to be my forever place so I never thought it would be fair to get a dog <laughs> and I know this might sound silly but it's just these are what I'm referring to is like it feels like my life's on pause like I can't do these things that's kind of like I've always really wanted to do so I kind of feel stuck and feeling stuck slash life's on pause can just make me feel a little bit uninspired a bit stressed a bit overwhelmed a bit unfulfilled because I'm someone who likes to work towards goals I like to I don't mind hard times as long as like I feel like I'm making like kind of some sort of headway in there where right now it's kind of just a waiting game, which for me is quite difficult. And this just brings me back to why I kind of want to share this with you is because there might be some of you who feel the same way, that your life's kind of on pause and you're not maybe progressing the way you want to, whether you feel like your life's on pause until you finish school, until you, you, know, you finish studying, until you save a certain amount of money, until you can move out of your current situation. Whether it's having to you know, stay at this job and do this for a certain period of time before you can get here. You know, just all those type of things where you just feel kind of stuck. But what I try and remind myself and what I wanna hopefully remind you is that you gotta try and look at the bigger picture of things. Again, in this day and age, we like everything to move so quickly, but two years, for example, of your lifespan 
isn't that long to get the thing that you really want. So we just need to get done what we need to get done. Be grateful for where we are and just be content with staying in this kind of like maintenance space, I guess, as long as you do know that you are still pushing to get to that end place. Oh, that didn't sound right, but you got what I was going for. It's okay to feel stuck. It's okay to feel like your life's on pause. And if you are feeling that way, you're not alone, but continue working towards your goals and trying to have that positive outlook. I think that's ultimately what I was trying to say. Recently, I've just had my eye on all different types of boots. Now there's this pair here from Gucci that actually caught my eye and I wanted to find something similar because one, those are a little bit too just extra for me and obviously the bats comes with it. I think they're like 1600 pounds. So it's definitely not gonna happen. But actually, thanks to the bro, Javon, uh, he introduced me to this pair from the brand Durango. Durango, I imagine that's how you say it. These are from Amazon and they were 140 pounds. And this is what they look like. It's, it's very different. <laughs> it's very different from my aesthetic, especially when you see it in its full glory like this. It's kind of like, I view it as like, it's kind of like a biker boot. Plus I also picture it as like kind of a cowboy boot as well. And it's in this, like the brown of it is just so nice. And that's why this kind of like caught my eye. Now, our legacy also have a boot very similar to this that I like as well in black, but that's 500 pounds. So ideally I'd be going more for something like this. Cause again, 140 pounds, I'm quite happy with that. And the quality of this already feels great. And what I like about the leather like this is that you can start to see like if you scratch it or whatnot, it'll kind of like appear. And I like that kind of like worn in look. So I'm going to chuck these on and see what you all think. So this is what they look like on body and I think they look, at least with these jeans, I think they look sick. Like this is kind of what I wanted. Again, when you wear jeans with them, you can't really like see too much of the shoe. Obviously this is what the boot looks like in its full kind of like glory. Not kind of the way I would style it, but I, I love the color. The color with these jeans looks sick and these jeans just kind of like sit on them so well. The other thing I really love by the color is the square toe. That's that's the main thing that I was looking for and that's why that Gucci pair, I liked the style of them and then also the R Legacy pair, but 140 pounds, like a great quality and a great color brown. I'm like really chuffed with these and like even this, like I'm looking in the viewfinder now, like this is a full fit, like I like this, like a casual, nice fit. I think it's sick. So team, let me know your honest thoughts on these boots. I've got 30 days to return them. So in that time, I'm gonna try them on at home with a bunch of other outfits to make sure that they actually would fit into my wardrobe and things like that, because obviously I don't want them to go to waste. But yeah, I'm interested to know what you all think. Before I go on, say 
Cause you've been told 